Walsh, Regional Director for the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, and I'm here today to share with you a remarkable conservation success story that's happening across the West. Today, we're at the Rocky Mountain Arsenal National Wildlife Refuge, just outside of Denver, Colorado, where we will be reintroducing what was once the most endangered mammal in North America, the black-footed ferret. The black-footed ferret is the very definition of cute, but in reality, it's a ferocious nighttime hunter that lives only in prairie dog towns. Once the black-footed ferret was widespread across the West, but by 1987, eradication of prairie dogs and infestations of the disease sylvatic plague had reduced their numbers to a mere handful. That's when the last wild ferrets were taken into captivity. But now, thanks to decades of hard work by many federal, state, tribal, conservation, and community groups, the black-footed ferret is on the road to recovery. For the last decade, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service has run a captive breeding program in northern Colorado. Private landowners are now agreeing to keep prairie dogs on their land so that black-footed ferret populations can be reestablished. A new plague vaccine is being developed to help protect wild ferret populations from the disease. And today, we are excited to be releasing 30 of these scrappy little survivors into an urban wildlife refuge right outside of Denver. So come on out on Saturday, October 10th, when we celebrate National Wildlife Refuge Week by opening this free indoor-outdoor black-footed ferret exhibit at the Rocky Mountain Arsenal National Wildlife Refuge. You'll be able to watch ferrets play in the outside enclosure or go inside where you can look underground into their burrow. See if you can spot one popping out of a prairie dog hole on the plains through this telescope and learn what you can do to help conserve black-footed ferrets. This is truly a great endangered species conservation success story in the making. Please come celebrate with us.